Hi guys, before today's video gets started, I wanted to say that I need your help. I would love to do like a Turner Syndrome Q&A. So if you have any specific questions, leave them in the comments below. Anything about my story, questions in general, um, anything about resources or things you've heard, anything like that. I would love to do a Q&A video all about Turner Syndrome and kind of answer some questions that videos I've done so far have brought up. Also, if not a Q&A, I would love to hear what other video ideas you guys have and kind of what you would like me to talk about when it comes to Turner Syndrome. I am super excited to have now been regularly posting about Turner Syndrome and I want to keep going. So I would love some ideas and questions for a Q&A if you have them below. <laughs> today's video, I wanted to do another Turner Syndrome video. Specifically, I thought I should talk about some sources because there is a ton of places to get information on Turner Syndrome out there. And if you don't know what you're doing or you've never encountered information on Turner Syndrome before, it can be very overwhelming and very scary. And so it's best you have some understanding of what you're getting self, yourself into with some of them. So I wanted to give my top five Turner Syndrome resources. My first resource is going to be the Turner Syndrome Society website. So this is the Turner Syndrome Society of the United States website specifically. This is just the U.S. one. It is tsus.org. T-S-S-U-S dot org. And they have a bunch of information, a bunch of FAQs that people generally are trying to figure out once they either find out that their baby has it or they themselves find out that they have it. There is a ton of resources and information on their website and it's just a great way to get involved, to get informed, and to kind of see what's going on out there in the Turner Syndrome world because it is a very widespread as far as there are people from so many different countries that are also experiencing this that you can learn from on top of it's kind of just this little tiny community because there's so few people that talk about it and so few people that you encounter with it on a regular basis, at least in my life, outside of the internet. I do not encounter anyone in real life with it. So this gives a way to do that and really great resources. And they have some information on organized events like walks or benefits or donations or any of that kind of thing. And I think even some of the latest research. So my second resource is actually Facebook groups, not anything that would be educated or you could really find trustworthy. It's people's experiences, but you would be surprised how much I have learned just from reading posts in Turner Syndrome Facebook groups. I have heard so many more stories of it than I ever would have heard in my life. I have encountered so many different situations with Turner Syndrome than I ever would have if I hadn't been a part of the Facebook groups I'm in. And honestly, they're just, super encouraging when you're encountering people that also have it every day even if you just see a post from them and you don't engage any further than that it's it's nice it's nice to see posts from people that also were going through things with it and you can kind of compare and when you have questions you can ask them when other people have questions you can help them answer their questions and you can learn if somebody asks a question you don't know and somebody else answers it, you learn a little bit more than you did before. So it can be helpful, especially if you're just starting out, they can kind of wean you into it pretty easily as opposed to other ways of trying to inform yourself. Which gets me into my third resource, which comes with a caution. So my third resource is 
WebMD or Mayo Clinic or just Google in general. There can be a ton of good information out there on those sources. If you just Google Turner Syndrome, there is legitimately thousands of results, both images and just text that can give you so much information on what Turner Syndrome is, how it affects a woman that has it, what the treatments are, what the regular symptoms are, but it can also be really scary. And I know I have found myself just out of curiosity Googling and you start comparing yourself and you start like, what is even real? Like what is, what is from Turner Syndrome? What's not from Turner Syndrome? And I have found myself picking myself apart and comparing myself to what Google says is normal for an abnormal genetic condition. <laughs> I get that that sounds crazy, guys. I understand. But it can have its benefits. You just really have to be careful. I know my mom has told me stories of doctors warning her not to Google because it's just terrifying. And he even brought in um, a book that has the pictures that are supposed to be the normal, but they're pretty extreme cases. And of course, it being such a wide spectrum, he says, this is not what your daughter is going to look like. We do not know anything about her circumstances besides what I've already told you. And do not read into this too much because you will scare yourself before you know your own situation. So for somebody that is a pregnant mother of a Turner Syndrome baby, do not let that scare you. Do not let that overwhelm you. And really take care of yourself in not doing that more than you can handle because it can be scary. All of the things they say can go wrong. The statistics are outrageous. It's incredibly frightening if you don't have somebody that knows what they're talking about helping you discern what it means. And so I, I say there are a ton of good resources by doing that, by just Googling or by looking up Turner Syndrome on WebMD or Mayo Clinic, you just really have to be careful with what you're finding and not overwhelm yourself and not get too caught up in what it says should occur or should be. So there is that with a caution. My fourth resource is actually books. And this kind of comes in two different forms because there are medical journals written about Turner Syndrome that you could try to find. Me and my mom actually had like two medical journals written about us because they were so unexperienced with that in that area that they wanted to write about it and warn other doctors to take more precaution and pay attention because basically weirder stuff has happened than it reversing itself and the baby being okay. So. Be cautious was the theme of that, but there are medical journals and then there are books that you can find at Amazon on a Kindle or just regular bookstore. My fifth and final resource is your doctor, whether that be your regular general physician or a specialist you go see, they can help you find information maybe they might know more current research than you. I know I've had a couple doctors that have been able to let me try new ideas for treatments as far as the HRT goes that way. I had uh, so much excitement over trying some new ones and seeing how they went and um, that was really great for me and kind of asking questions and especially if they're a doctor that's experienced with Turner Syndrome, they are going to be able to tell you not just what a textbook says, but they're going to be able to tell you what they've encountered, how they've been able to help other TS patients, and just in general what they've actually seen occur because there is a very small pool that the statistics can pull from. So it's important to see real life experiences, I think, when you're learning about it and trying to understand it. So I hope this helped you in some way. If I've left any resources that anybody watching likes to use, leave them below, absolutely. 
there are some great ones out there and I want to kind of give that the airtime it deserves. So I hope this helped you in some way. If it did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with everybody. If you are not already subscribed, click the screen and subscribe and then you can see when the next video comes out. And don't forget to leave a question or a video topic below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.